Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of my animation tutorial. Now, if you haven't seen part 1, I suggest you watch that, because in that part, we created our character, imported him over to our PC, created a bone rig for him, and I showed you a little bit of how to animate. So, if you haven't watched that part, and you're watching this now, you're going to be a little bit confused. So, watch part 1, and then come back to part 2. Now, in part 1, we, well, I just told you what we did in part 1. So, in part 2, which is now, we are actually going to be creating a switch layer, so we can switch our character hands uh, during the animation. And I'm also going to be teaching you guys how to do a body turn for our character. So, we're getting a little bit more advanced. Um, Actually, the body turn is going to be the most advanced thing we're going to be doing in this entire tutorial. So, uh, hopefully you guys are able to keep up. But the first thing we are going to need is more of our assets from our character. So, we're going to need the different hand poses uh, from Super City. And also, we're going to need the different poses for our body, uh, our hips, and... I think there's another pose for the leg as well and also the head so we're gonna jump over to super city I'm gonna show you guys how I get those poses and uh, I'll be with you guys in a second alright guys so once you're in super city you're gonna wanna go to the character you created and the first thing we're gonna do is actually uh, you can see the background is green right now I mentioned this in the first tutorial but if you want to know how I got my background to be green here uh, a link will be in the description to my how to mod mdiki games tutorial so yeah I just have the background green so it's easier to erase the background of it but the first thing we're gonna do is actually get the different hand poses for our character so we are going to uh, click on every body part other than the hands and we're going to set them all to zero. So the body, the upper arm, the lower arm, the hips, we're going to set all this to zero. Just so we can get a better picture of them. And we'll do the head too, why not? Okay, so actually, before I do this, I did create another tutorial on how to get MDiki assets. And... You know, because getting all the hand poses, I think there's like 10 of them for each hand. It's kind of tedious. So, uh, if you want to watch my tutorial on how to get MDK assets, it's a lot easier to get the hand poses. And uh, I think in the next tutorial, I'll show you guys how to do, um, what's it called? Uh, multiplying, so you can change the colors of the hands in it. Uh, Moho or Anime Studio, so it'll be a little bit easier to do it. But for right now, we're just gonna take screenshots of them. So once you have uh, everything on zero other than the hands, we're gonna come over to powers, and we're just gonna change the stance. So remember these two hands that you have. You should already have these from the first tutorial. So we're just gonna change the stance, and you see we get two different hand poses. So first we had these. And now they're both different. So you're going to want to just take a screenshot of those poses. And we're going to erase them later. These two poses on stance 3, we already have those. They're a uh, mix between pose 1 and 2. So just keep going through the poses until you think you have all of them. We're going to get pose stance 4 because these are both different. Uh, stance 5, we have both of those, and Stance 6, we have both of those. Now, we don't have every hand here, but that's just an easy way to get some of them. Uh, I should have wrote down something about the attacks, but we're just going to go through the attacks and see if we see any different hand poses. So, uh, we're going to go to a punch, and I think we do have a different hand pose here on just the regular punch. Also here on chop. So when you're on chop, you're gonna want to try and get a screenshot of the 
exact hand pose that you need. So we we want a screenshot of the one with his hands open here. The like look at the bottom left hand pose. Well, I guess it's his right hand. We we want that one. So just try and get a screenshot of that. And I think we got the upper right one, but we didn't get the bottom left one. So just keep trying to take a screenshot of it until you get it. Or you could uh create you could like have a uh screen recorder and try and get the exact frame of them, but I think I just got it, so just keep trying to do that. And we're gonna look for one where it's kinda easy to get the other pose. We already have these. Um I think that's well let me see. No that that's not a different pose. Oh yeah, left uppercut. We need this pose here. So on left uppercut left uppercut we want the pose with his left arm going upwards. We want that pose. It's like the back of the fist. So try and get a screenshot of that. Oh, let's go back to attacks. And I'm not sure, but I think we have all the fist poses. And let me actually go back to stances to see if we need any more hand poses. Uh, I think we need the front hand. So let's try to see if we can find one. I think we need the palm. Actually, you know what? I think a grab move is the easiest one to do it. Or is it the splash? Yeah, the splash pose. I think this is the easy one to get the hand poses. So, so you see the palm poses? When when he has them, his hands up in the air, we want those. So try and get a screenshot of those. And I know it's kind of hard. So if if you could get a screen recording that to try and get the exact frame you want, uh, that'll probably be an easier way. But the easiest way is like I said to get to follow my tutorial on how to get in Dicky assets. And Hopefully we can get this soon here. Okay, I think I got them. But, uh, I think that's pretty much all of them. I think. Do we have this pose? Hmm. I might as well take a screenshot of this one too. And I think that's all of them. If not, I'll let you guys know. But once you have all those poses, you're going to want to take those into a background eraser. I think I, in the first tutorial, ah, in the first tutor tutorial, <laughs> I can't speak. In the first tutorial, I showed you guys how to do the background eraser stuff. Just take these into background eraser and uh, erase the background of them and import them over to your PC. Okay, so next, we're going to want to get the body poses as well so we're going to come over to our body and try and set that to one okay so we have our body here we also need the back of the head and the hips and the lower leg so i think we can get the lower leg in this as well so go to your lower leg pose and i think i had it on nine i think that's what my character is yeah it's nine so get the right shin pose back to whatever your leg is. And we're going to put the left shin on zero. So you have both of those poses. Now I think we're going to go to, hmm, which one is it? I think it's flying attack. Uh, where is it? Super punch. So with super punch, you can see you get the the uh the back of the body and you get your leg turn pose so we're gonna try and get a screenshot of both of those we almost got that i think i got the leg turn pose there but we want the back oh, i got the side of the body there as well 
That's good. It's kind of hard to get them. Oh, I think I would have had it there. Okay, I got it. So we we got the back of the leg here, the side of the body, and the back of the body there. So next, we want the hips. And I think this is nine as well. Yeah. We're going to get rid of the shin. Now we want the side of the hips, and we want the back of the hips. So we're going to come back to uh, the super punch pose and we're just going to try to get both of those Ooh, turn my phone off okay so once you're on the hip poses uh we're going to come back to flying attack super punch and we're going to try to get the side of the hips and the back of the hips so just try and take a screenshot of both of those we got the side of the hips there now we just need the back oh i got a first try so after that i think we just need the back of the head and then we'll be done. So, which head do we use? We use head eight. So, come to your head. Uh, we're going to go back to super punch and flying attacks. And we're just going to try to get the back of the head here. And again, once you have these poses, you're going to want to take them into the background eraser. Erase the background of them. And then import them over to your... PC. Now I'm going to show you all of the ones that you need so you don't miss any of them. Okay guys, so here's all the poses you're going to need to get in Super City. So make sure you have all of these poses for the hands and for the body. And uh, you're going to want to erase the background of them once you have them. Import them over to your phone and uh, just drag and drop them into Moho. So you're going to need all of these. Uh, hopefully you guys understood what I meant in the, the um, taking the screenshots of them. But yeah, you're going to need the back of the hips, the side of the hips. This is the back of the head, the back of the leg, back of the body, side of the body. Uh, this is a front hand pose. I think you're going to need uh, four hand poses. No, you're going to need five hand poses, actually. So you want this one. Uh, this is another hand pose. This is the third hand pose. You're also going to need, I think, three um, fist poses. So this is fist pose one you're going to need, fist pose two, and this is the third one you're going to need. And this is the fourth hand pose. And this is the fifth hand pose. So you're going to make sure you have all of these. Make sure you look at these and uh, you have them. And then, again, import them over to your PC after you erase the background. And then drag and drop them into Super City, just like we did in the first tutorial. Okay, so now you should have all your images imported over to Moho. And the first thing we're going to do, actually, is I'm going to hide this background that we used for the last tutor tutorial, just so uh, we can see things a little bit clearer. And also in the last tutorial, we had this screenshot here. I'm just going to delete this. Uh, you can keep it if you want. I don't need it right now, so I'll just delete it. And the last thing we're going to do is come over to your bone character. And I don't need uh, any of this animation that we created in the last tutorial anymore. So, I'm going to come up to my character bone, I'm going to left click on it, no, I'm going to right click on it actually, uh, hmm, actually no, just click on your bone layer, come up here to animation, click on the animation, click clear animation, and from the layer, so it's going to clear everything inside of this bone layer that we created. And click yes and everything here all the animations should be gone you can keep it if you want but I don't need it right now I suggest you uh, just get rid of it for the sake for the sake of the tutorial 
Now, we're gonna hide this character. And uh, if you wanna like uh, get rid of all the pictures in the character, like j just so you can see the others properly, you can click on this arrow pointing down here so you can hide that drop down menu. And we're just gonna hide the character for right now. Now, these are all the poses that we just imported. So you can just hide them all and then unhide the ones that you want to see. So the first thing we're going to do actually is I think we're going to work on the hand poses first. So we're going to unhide our character, open this, and we're going to hide everything except the front hand pose. I think that's how I want to do this. And we're gonna cl close that drop down menu. And what's this? Oh, this is the background. Okay. Now, this is one of our hand poses. And I think that, yeah, I think that's the right uh, pose for the right hand. So the first thing we're gonna do is come up to here. Well, we're gonna click on this hand pose that we have. And we're going to come up to here to new layer and we're going to click on group. So that's going to create a new group layer here. We're going to name this hands or F hands. So F H A N D S. And here's our front hand. We're going to just drag this into here. We're not going to name it anything for right now. And you can hide this folder. And what's this? This is another fist pose. And you you want to make sure these poses are like uh, accurate to which hand you're using. So we're going to try to make these all for the right hand. So um, actually, I think we need to rotate this one. So if you want to rotate them, uh, you can see above the picture, there's these two boxes. If you have these this picture selected, make sure you have the right one selected. So there's two boxes here, and you want to come in between these two boxes. When you're in the transform layer tool right here, so make sure you have that selected actually. And then you're gonna come in between these two boxes and click and drag and that rotates it. So we're just gonna rotate it and drag it above this. Or it's actually below. But yeah, th this isn't right, th like, your right hand wouldn't be able to turn like this, so we actually need to flip this picture. So make sure you have the picture selected, and come up here to flip layer horizontally, and that should flip the picture. And now, this is how you want this picture to look. You don't have to put it over it yet, we're going to do that all that later. But once you have that there, you're going to go ahead and put this into the front hands uh, folder. And then we're going to move over to, to the next one. Now this one, again, we have to flip this picture because it's, it, your hand wouldn't move like that. So come up here, flip it horizontally, and we're just going to rotate it. We're just going to put it kind of near it. And then put that in the front hands folder as well. Next hand, that actually is correct. So just put that sort of near it. And then put it in this folder. This pose right here is another hand pose. I think we need to flip this one as well. So j just follow me uh, w when you're doing this. So it's a little bit easier. So once you have that looking like that, put that in the front hands folder. Come down to the next one. And is this our last one? I think that's this is our last hand pose. And this is fine. So we'll just put that in here. Now that you have all the front hand poses, uh, you should have, how many is this? Two. You should have six hands in here. Actually, I think we're missing some. So I'm going to hide this front hands folder again. Uh, we're going to, yeah, we're missing some of these. 
so with this hand pose here this is actually right so just rotate it put it near it and drag it into the front hands folder this one this one's right as well so we'll just drag that in there and that may be it yeah that is all of the hand poses so you should have one two three four five six seven eight hands uh inside of this front hands folder now we're gonna close this drop down menu we're gonna actually drag this front hands folder above this steve bone layer just so we can line this up properly. Now you're gonna open this drop down menu again, and we're gonna unhide this. And we're actually gonna hide all the poses in here, except the first one. And we're gonna try to line this up with this hand. So come up here to rotate, make sure you have the transform layer selected again, rotate it, and drag it above this picture and make sure like this part of the hand right here like the bottom of the hand lines up with the bottom of the hand of the your front hand on your character bone so make sure that just lines up i oh, will rotate it a bit and once you have that lined up hide that pose and do the same thing for the next one Oh, actually, I'm still on the other one. So if you mess up like that, hit Control Z, and that is the undo button. Or you can come up to here to undo. But make sure we have this one selected before we move it. So we're just going to rotate it, try and line them up here, line up the bottom of the hands, hide it, and do that for every single pose. So rotate it a bit line them up same for this one this one is already fine i think put that there this one will rotate this a little bit more here this one and once we have all these we're actually just going to duplicate this so we can do it for the other hand just so it's a little bit easier and we don't have to get screenshots of each hand we, we can just duplicate them so line this up and that should be it with the hand poses and we're going to go ahead and hide the bone layer here and we're actually just going to line we're going to uh like we're we're gonna line these up like for the front hands we're gonna have all the front hands on top and all the fists on the bottom so this is a front hand pose this is a fist pose so we'll just drag this to the bottom of the folder another fist pose we'll drag this to the bottom another one this is another hand pose so hand pose hand pose Hand pose, hand pose, fist, 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 and this is another hand pose, so we'll drag this around here, yeah, so you should have five hand poses on top, and then the bottom three should be the fist poses, uh, we're not going to name them now, I'm going to name them a little bit later, but yeah, once you have that, uh, we're going to open up our bone layer again, and we're just going to drag this front hands folder on top of our front hand layer. So we're just going to drag and drop it there. Now we are going to come here to the front hand, and actually this hand is actually binded to this, so we're just going to unbind it from the bone. So come up here, make sure you have this front hand selected to bind layer, click it and just click anywhere off the bone so we can unbind it and now we're just gonna drag and drop this front hand into this front hands folder we're gonna click on the folder come up here to bind layer and we're just gonna bind the entire layer to the front hand bone so now if we move the bone 
it should move all these hands. So actually we're gonna go ahead and show all these hands so I can show you. So if we come up to the bone, come up here to manipulate bones, make sure you're on frame zero by the way. And this should move all the hands. Come back here to select bone and it should put everything back in place. Uh, we're gonna hide all this again. And now uh, I think we might as well name these. So we'll just come up here to the name. Actually, yeah, if you double click it, you can name it here, or you can just click on this one here. Uh, if you want to see this a little bit clearer, right here, like come over to the side of this panel right here, and you can just drag it so you can get a better view of all of these. And actually, it didn't. It doesn't even show it better, so we'll just drag this back. But if you want a better view of it, you can just double click the layer and you can name it here. So we're just going to name, well, we're going to come up to this first hand and name it uh, 1. We're going to come to the second one, name it 2. And just, we're going to do that for all of them. 4. Five, six, name that seven, and hit OK. Eight, nine, and actually we're missing one fist pose. We're missing we're missing the fist pose for the other hand actually. So we're gonna minimize this. And there's the other fist pose. This is actually the back hand here. So we need this pose. So click on the back hand inside of your bone layer. Uh, we're going to click up here under the layers folder. We're going to click on duplicate layer. So, so that's just going to create a duplicate uh, back hand. And we're just going to drag that into the front hands folder. And we're actually going to move this to here, and we have to rotate this as well. Well, we have to flip it. So come up here, flip it, rotate it, and make sure it's lined up with your other hands. And that should be good. And we're going to name this 10. 10. Okay, so now you should have 10 hand poses inside of your front hands uh, folder here and they're all since we binded the the uh, front hands folder to the bone they all should move with the bone now after you have all this done we're gonna come up here we're gonna minimize the front hands folder we're gonna right click on that folder and Come up here to convert to switch layer, and we're going to click that. And you should see everything hides except one of them. And uh, if you want to switch between the different hand poses, come over here to front hands, right click on it again, and you can see all the, the uh, pictures that we named. So we have 1 through 10 here. Click on the one you want. 2, that switches it to 2. 3, it switches it to 3 and so on and now uh, you can while you're animating you can just switch between any of them so say on frame 12 we wanted to switch to a different pose and then on frame uh, 30 we wanted to switch to pose 9 and here we wanted to switch to pose 2 so now during the animation you can see the hands they switch to the to the uh, the different ones that you picked. So we're gonna come back to frame zero, and we're gonna just drag over all of these and hit delete to get rid of all of that. And we're gonna set this on frame zero to nine, yeah, just so it looks normal for right now. 
and we have this minimized and now we're just gonna do this for the other hand so we're gonna come up here to the front hands folder come up here to duplicate layer duplicate that entire layer and we're gonna unbind this actually so when you have this folder selected we're actually gonna name it back hands so B hands then come up here to is this it yeah the bind layer tool we're gonna actually bind it to this left hand bone or the back hand bone so make sure your front hand is binded to the front hand bone and your back hand is binded to the back hand bone and now we we're gonna come over here to well when you have the back hand uh, folder selected come over here to layer and you can move it around and we're actually gonna come over here to flip layer and in the back hand layer we're gonna right click switch that to 10 and we're just gonna try and line these up so rotate it and try and line it up with the back hand and that looks pretty good right there so once you have them lined up we're gonna drag this above the back hand and we're gonna click on the back hand and we're just gonna delete this one since we don't need it anymore so delete the back hand and that's it you have the hands the hand switches done so if we come up here to Steve you know we can come over here to manipulate bones move it around the hands move with it you can uh, come to backhand you can switch them just like you can do with the front hand and yeah uh, hopefully you guys you, you guys were able to keep up with that one and actually I think I might split this up into two parts or I might just do the body turn in the next part actually but yeah we're just gonna unhide all of this uh, yeah so your character should have uh, hand switches now and I think I'll just do the body part the the body turn in the next part because this was kind of a long tutor tutorial uh, so yeah I think it's just best if I split them up so hopefully you guys were able to keep up with that if not I, I know it was kind of confusing you guys can ask me any questions down in the comments because I do answer the questions and uh, hopefully you guys were able to keep up again uh, watch part one of my tutorial tutorial I can't say that word for some reason watch part one of my tut tutorial oh my gosh and then watch this part and in the next part I'll show you guys how to do the body turns